Hello again guys and welcome to the fourth video of this tutorial JavaFX 8 and today we're going to review how to create an ellipse or a circle and a rectangle and with this we're going to create the car wheels uh, wheels like, like this one here okay so we are going to focus on the circles of, this, of these wheels so let's start so, well, before uh, start creating these wheels, let's focus a little bit on the door handle. A door handle will be created by using a rectangle. So, to create a rectangle, let's let's use the rectangle class. Now, let's go to a slide to review how to. Uh, provide shape to this rectangle okay so here's the slide this is the way we declare uh, uh, a rectangle with the class rectangle and then we need to set the starting point the starting coordinate of this rectangle and we do that by using the set x and the set y uh, methods and then we need to define the width and the height of this rectangle to define the width, we use the method set width, and to define the height, we use the method set height. All of these uh, uh, dimensions will be given in uh, pixels. Okay, so this is how we uh, give shape or we create a rectangle, and give uh, give it a determined um, position. So now let's go back to NetBeans. Okay, here we are, let's define the starting point. And then the width and the height. Okay, so this is how we create a little rectangle in order to uh, create the, the door handle. Well, and now it's time for the wheels. So in order to create these wheels, we're gonna define uh, three uh, circles. One of them will be for the tire, which is this one big black circle. The other one will be for the rim, this silver uh, circle. And finally, this uh, center circle right here, okay, the smaller one. Okay, this little circle will help us to give more detail to the to the ring. Okay, so let's start using the ellipse class. Okay, so let's go to a slide to review how to modify this this shape. Okay, so this is how we declare um, an ellipse. Okay, and we're gonna use the constructor of this class. In this constructor, uh, we can find the center x and center y uh, values. These values will help us to define the central point of the circle. The second values will help us to define the radius, the radius x and the radius y. Okay, so radius x is the distance from the center in the x coordinates to the circumference, from the center to the circumference of this circle. And radius y is the same, but uh, the distance from the center in the uh, y coordinates to the uh, circumference of the circle. So this is how we define uh, circles. Okay. These uh, uh, dimensions can be different, so we so we can have a, a different shape, not a circular shape, maybe uh, an ellipse shape, a different shape. Okay, so let's go back to things. And let's start 
defining the values, adding the values to the this first circle. So the first two values are the uh, starting point or the starting coordinates. And then second values are the radius x and radius, uh, radius y. So let's focus on the diameter and then divide it uh, by 2. That's how you get uh, an exact uh, radius dimension. Okay. Now let's continue with the second circle, which is this uh, silver silver one. Okay. With the same center position and with different radius. And finally, the center circle, this black center circle. Okay, so now that we have our three circles, now let's add some format to, to them. So to the first one, we want to set a color field, a black color field. In order to do that, we use the set field method. And let's add to it a stroke width. Of 10 pixels with the method set stroke width, which you already know uh, from the line class. Okay, so for the second circle, let's use a silver color. And for the last circle, the small, smallest circle, let's use a uh, black color as well. Okay, so now the final step it will be to create the other three circles for the second wheel. Okay, so let's do this. So once we have added all of the, the three circles for the second wheel, okay, we now need to add these three circles uh, uh, for the second wheel for, and for the first wheel to the root node. Okay, so let's scroll down to the line where we are adding our elements, which is this one, and let's start adding those, those shapes. So first, uh, in the first place, the first wheel. Okay, three circles, and then the second wheel. Okay, another three circles. So now let's try to run the application and see how it looks so far. Well, great, now you can see uh, we have here our two wheels. Okay. Uh, each of them has uh, three circles. This big circle, this silver circle, and this um, a small circle, circle here, black circle. So in the uh, next video, we will learn how to add more detail.
to the to these wheels uh, by using another shapes and another paths. So we will review these topics in the next videos. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. And um, please don't miss the following video. It will be about uh, the quadratic group and the subtract. And with these two uh, topics, we will uh, give some more detail to the wheels uh, inside our our car. So don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share. And see you next video.